Right, let's go over how to uh, alter the Wi-Fi settings on the 85PEW or the 200PEW uh, Wi-Fi home plug device from Solwise. So we'll just log into the website of the device. What I've done here is I've got my PC plugged into uh, the network and the uh, PEW is also plugged in by its LAN cable into the network. So uh, we can now directly access the PW by typing in 192.168.1.1, which is the address of the PW. Up it comes. Now the username and password is admin, and then password. These are the default configuration username and password. Not bother with that. So it brings up the configuration screens. And if we wanted to alter the wireless characteristics, all we do is we click on wireless and, for example, click on wireless security. Now, if we want to enable the wireless security, all we have to do is click on enable for encrypt. And then we have to choose the type of encryption that we want. So let's, for example, go for WPA2, which everybody seems to want. And we'll put a passphrase in. Obviously, it puts a default one in, but you know, we'll put whatever we want in. I don't know bang some numbers in, who cares. So we'll put those in and we click on submit. Okay, so those settings are now stored in the memory of the device, but they're not stored into the flash. Now what that means is at the moment, if I was to reboot this device or power it off, etc., those settings would be lost. We now need to store those into the flash. So we'll click on management and we click on save to flash. We'll click on submit. So those settings are now being stored into the flash of the device. And what I'll do now is just to prove that, I'll just go and unplug it and plug it back in again so it reboots back up. So if you just hold on a second. Okay, so uh, that should have booted up by now. So what we'll do is we'll just refresh. Right, we're back into it again now. We'll click on wireless, we'll click on security. There it is, enabled with that passphrase. And obviously, I just made, used a made-up passphrase. You'd use something sensible, which you could remember, because obviously you're going to have to put the same settings into your clients, your notebook, or whatever, in order for it to connect to this device. Uh, so that's basically how to set up the wireless security. Other things, wireless setting, for example, this is where you might want to change the SSID, so it matches the SSID of your other devices, if you want them to be the same. Um, now the other thing that people uh, sometimes want to do with a PW is change its IP address. Now the default IP address is 192.168.1.1. Sometimes that might clash with something else on the network. So you just go to LAN, LAN setting. Now all you need to do is change this address to something different uh, which doesn't clash with obviously with your network. So let's go to 1.200 for example. Click on submit. So now the device is automatically rebooting. Now when it reboots back up again, obviously it's going to come back on the address 1.200. So we'll wait for this to get to the end and then change the address on our URL line here to 1.200. Okay, so that's got to the end of that. Now what we have to do is obviously change the address to 1.200. Press enter. Here we are, it's come up with the login screen, which you say is admin password. Enter, and there we are, we're in on the PW now on the new address of 1.200. And you could just look at the LAN setting, and you can see that that's changed. And that's it. It's not rocket science, I don't think, but there we go. A couple of the most common things that people want to do uh, illustrated on the PW. Thank you very much.